If you don't have a holistic view of your devices, Cisco Asset Management can be complex. But now Cisco has APIs that connect the services portal to your existing asset management solution. Today I sit down with Oscar Bustos Mendoza to find out how these new APIs and the Cisco services portal can help you streamline operations and provide actionable insights on Inside Track. Well, thank you for joining us today on Inside Track. With me today is Oscar Bustos Mendoza, and he's from our customer experience, customer success team. Oscar, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Frank. So Oscar, um, let's talk a little bit about asset management. So it's something that's really difficult to do. I know from working across companies that you know a lot of customers really struggle with it. Either they do it really well or sometimes they struggle. Sometimes they have great third-party systems that they're using, great homegrown systems. And then sometimes it's just a bunch of disparate spreadsheets, even with multiple owners. But I know that Cisco, at least for you know Cisco network devices, has helped our customers ever since we launched the Common Services Platform Collector. And this collects information. I know that it does discovery of the customer's network and feeds information back into our services portal. But now we have APIs that actually integrate with what the customer already has so that they don't have to install the collector. And that's made things really a lot easier for our customers. So can you tell us about how th these APIs work? Of course. Since the launch of a smart net total care uh, with smart capabilities over a decade ago, we had a number of customers and partners constantly requesting the same feature, which was uh, to enable them to exchange and enrich data with Cisco. Um, so we partnered with CX product management and created uh, what they call today's uh, services APIs, which is a, rob a robust catalog of APIs that users can uh, um, or use to, so they can consume their SNTC portal data enriched with Cisco intellectual property and also replace the need of a collector with the use of uh, the import functionality. So we offer the possibility to post a whole asset inventory through APIs by using a CSV file. Um, the import inventory feature enables users to automate importing network inventory data to Cisco. So by helping our partners and customers to get fully onboarded um, uh, into the use of APIs, they can leverage this feature and adapt it into their own in-house proprietary monitoring management platforms. So, th so that's great. Once the data comes in from the APIs into the portal, what are some of the insights that um, customers and partners get from the portal? Well, uh, well, it's a lot of uh, great uh, information there. So it helps you, or it helps the portal or, and the APIs helps you to import or uh, to pull information out of your own network devices. After being correlated uh, to Cisco's data, uh, it will show you whether the device is covered or not, along with other meaningful information. Once this information is pulled into the portal, you can create reports and customized dashboards. So dashboards gives you an easy way um, to identify and detect non-security vulnerabilities, for example, and what issues needs immediate attention. So and just to name a few, we have a number of dashboards and reports, but uh, last day of support could be one, um, end of life, device end of life, uh, security alerts, coverage, um, status, and things that you, or the customer would normally have to look up manually. It's done automatically for you. Can you show us what some of those dashboards look like? Of course. So let me start by this view right here. Uh, this would be like the smart net total care view. It's a, that's how it's called this dashboard here. It gives you these different panes here. Uh, like. It will break you uh, the whole inventory into these views. Like, for example, here you can see by equipment type. You can see you also have a, a different view of the alerts. It's an alert summary. 
So it gives you what are based on that inventory, what the percentage of devices are impacted by a specific securities um, alerts, hardware end of life supports or field notices. Um, you can also have a different view of the su support coverage on, on your network like right here. Another nice view is alert management. Alert management will tell you it's a security and products alerts. Uh, rep this report identifies devices that need security updates and when those devices may need to be refreshed uh, due to end of life or end of services. So we have, for example, here uh, alert summary right here. So we tell you um, security alerts, hardware, end of life, field notices, right? And in here, you see last day of support. Um, another, a different view for the alerts. If we go under alerts menu right here, um, as you can see, I'll tell you what type of alerts uh, we have based on the information collected. Uh, the information is correlated to Cisco data and we'll just post here uh, the description of the field alert and the link to that uh, alert as well as a count of um, affected devices, right? As you probably know, hardware alerts identify uh, devices that are approaching to end of life, software alerts, what issues uh, for specific software versions we have detected, security alerts identify security vulnerabilities, including P-certs, and field notices inform you of a significant issues with a hardware device or software version. Um, we have also, if, yeah. If so if we could talk a little bit more about security, can this help me prioritize security if I'm you know, trying to apply update patches and I got a really huge network? Of course, uh, for example, here, we can have a different view based on the security importance, right? From it ranges from critical to medium right here. So this is also a good view of, uh, you know, what probably needs immediate attention on your network, right? Um, so a combination of this view with the total count of affected devices, probably that's what I would start. Great. Right. Now, this is all really good, uh, big picture stuff for your overall network, but can this help me if I need to, you know, just do a transaction, if I, I just need to um, resolve an issue from the TAC, can this help me resolve it faster? Of course. Uh, the support integration already enables the speed um, into the resolution of, it, of um, you know, by doing all the correlation of information, um, of the device, serial number, device, product ID, device, coverage status, uh, contract number, you know, those kind of things uh, that are over there automatically for you. So customers don't have to waste time collecting or trying to hunt that information. And in fact, the, the services portal gives you the opportunity to open a case right from the services portal, right from there. Oh, wow. So I can just, with one click, open a case. I don't even have to call in and go out and find all the info. That just makes things so super easy for customers. But now, getting back to the APIs. Um, now, I would think just looking at this, this is probably going to be for our smaller to mid-sized customers, or it, it, will this scale for a large enterprise customer? Of course. Uh, we have customers from all different sizes, from small to large ones. Um, just to name one case, uh, we have a customer that managed to upload up, up to 100,000 devices into the portal. So that created uh, you know, a different view of their own network. Wow. Because they were able to collect all that information that we are discussing now. So they created their own homegrown asset management system and were you know, constantly working together uh, to help them implement those APIs automation. So by using all this information, all this uh, data from Cisco, uh, that will eventually let them know which of their equipment needs to be either decommissioned or what definitely needs, uh, you know, 
to define a path forward for future hardware upgrades. Wow. So it's creating them such great big picture information that they can make big business decisions with like which they're, what sites they're going to decommission and what sites they're going to upgrade. So that's really terrific. That's really awesome. Uh, so Oscar, if I'm a customer and I want to get started, where do I go and how do I do it? Yeah, you can visit our webpage uh, where you can find us at developer.cisco.com slash services dash APIs. And um, you, you'll find all the information there and also how to contact us in case you need some other assistance and we'll be happy to assist. Well, Oscar, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for all this great information. Thanks for having me, Frank. To get started with Services APIs, click on the button on screen. Thank you.